So we're gonna add some new records. Okay, that's the first one. Then we're gonna add the second one. Okay, let's now add another one. All right, let's try to edit the last one. Change the age, for example. Here we go. Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to deal with MySQL databases in C Sharp. So first of all uh, we're going to open up our MySQL workbench to create the database and the table that we're going to be using. So after clicking on the instance you're going to want to enter the password that you configured during the installation of the MySQL. Okay so now we're creating a new schema or a new database I'm gonna call it mysql underscore tutorial and then we're gonna right click on tables to create our table we're gonna name it persons okay so we're gonna start with the ID table it's going to be primary key and we, we're gonna make the take the auto increment because we want it to um, just auto increment when we add new records and then we're gonna add the name it's Bachar and then the age it's an integer okay and that's it for our table we're gonna now save it and here we go when you expand the columns you're gonna find the columns of the table that we've just created Okay, so on the Visual Studio, we're going to go to the Server Explorer and then right click on the Data Connections and we're going to want to change our server to MySQL Database. Then we're going to enter the server name, which is localhost, and the username root, and the password in my case is root123. It's whatever password you choose during the installation. Then you're going to choose the database name and you're good to go. We're going to go to the connection string and the properties. We're going to copy that because we're, we'll be needing it in our um, code. So we're gonna go to the code and we're gonna define a string that is called connection string and it's gonna be equal to our connection string. And we're gonna wanna add the password which is password equals and our password, in my case root one, two, three, and then a semicolon. Now we're gonna double click on add and we'll be using MySQL the data the MySQL client and first of all we're gonna connect we're gonna create a MySQL connection so MySQL connection we're gonna name it con equals new MySQL connection and then we'll give it the connection string then we're gonna open the connection so con.open and we're gonna create the MySQL command and we're gonna name it command is equal to con.create command now we want to add the parameters that we're going to pass to our query, which are the name and the age. So we're going to type command dot parameters dot add with value. And then we're going to add at name. So this is our variable that we're going to use in the query. And we're going to assign it text box one dot text. And we're going to also add the age. So it's going to be at age. And its value is going to be in text box to the text. Okay, now let's add the um, the query text. So command command text is equal to insert into persons, and we're gonna insert into the and we're gonna insert into the columns name and age. We're gonna insert values that are at name and at age. Then we're gonna check if command execute non query. This basically returns the number of rows affected. So if it's greater than zero, then we're good. Message box that show record was added. Else, then we're having some problems in adding uh, our record. So we're gonna show a message that says record was not added. And then we're gonna close our connection.
Now when we add new records, we want to update the combo box and the data grid view. So what we're going to want to do is create a function to do that. So it's private void. We're going to name it update view. And we're going to copy the connection part and the command creation. And then we'll get that command that command text is equal to select asterisk from persons, right? To select all the records from persons. And then we're going to receive these uh, records in a MySQL data reader object. So I'm going to name it reader. So while reader the tree, which means uh, while there are records, we're going to loop over the records. So we're going to add the uh, IDs to the combo box. So combo box one, the items to add, and then reader the get end 32, and which is the column, which is basically of index zero because it's the first column uh, of the ID. Then we want to clear our uh, data grid view. In so data grid view rows dot clear and data grid view dot columns dot clear. Clear. And then we want to add the headers of our columns. So data grid view one the columns the add and then we provide the uh, the the column name and then the header text. So first of all, the column name, we're gonna name it ID call, and the header is going to be ID. Okay, and we're gonna do the same for the name and the age. Okay, and now we wanna add the records to our data grid view. So data grid view one dot first dot add, and then we provide uh, the our our data. So first of all, reader to get end thirty two of zero. This is the ID, and then reader to get the name, and then reader to get end thirty two of two, and this is the age. And last, we want to close our connection. So com dot close. Okay. So now we edit a contact we're going to select the ID and then we're going to load the data in the text box of name and the text box of age so double click on the combo box and then we're going to copy the connection uh, lines and paste them here so now we're going to add a parameter to our query so command parameters to add a value it's actually the ID and it is in combo box one dot selected item it's actually not selective value. This is a mistake and we're going to correct it later on in this tutorial. So now we're going to type our command text. So command that command text is equal to select asterisk from persons where at where the ID is equal to add ID. Then uh, we're going to actually receive the result in a MySQL data reader object. So that MySQL data reader reader is equal to commander execute reader if reader dot read which means that we have something to read then text box read text is going to be equal to the name which is reader dot get string of one because it's column in of index one and then text box four is going to be the age so text box four text is equal to reader to get n32 of two because the age is in the uh, column of index 2 and then we're going to close our connection okay so let's double click on the edit button to update our database we're going to create the lines for creation of the connection and adding creation of the connection and adding the ID as a parameter then we're going to also add as a parameter the name which is going to be in the text box free dot text and also we're going to add the age which is going to be in text box for the text now we want to add our command text so command the command text is equal to update then we provide the uh, name of our table which is persons then set and then we provide the attribute and its new value so set name is equal to add name comma age is equal to add age where the id is equal to add id 
and we're gonna check if uh, there are more than zero rows affected so if command that execute non queries is greater than zero then we're gonna display a message box saying that the record was updated problem then we're gonna uh, display a message box saying that the record was not updated and of course we're going to close our connection we want to update our combo box and the data grid view when we add a new record so double click on app button and at the end of the code we're gonna type update view to call the update view function we want to call the function also when we load the form so we're going to double click on our form and type update view to call the update view function okay and also when we edit the uh, a record we want to also call the update view function let's test it out okay so the first the name basil in the h33 Okay, then we're gonna provide an, another name with another random age. Okay, now we're gonna edit. Now we're gonna edit. We see that there is a mistake in the combo box, and this is because we are not clearing the combo box before adding the new values to it. So, in the update view function, we want to first clear the combo box before writing new values to it let's now test it again so Muhammad 21 add okay and the problem is fixed now we're gonna come to the problem where we should change selected value to selected item as I mentioned before which is going to fix okay so it's gonna change it to 25 here we go so everything is working fine and that's it guys for this tutorial, thanks a lot for watching.